Good day, mates. Anthony here from Travel Droner, and welcome to another video. Are you ready for an adventure down under? Australia is a beautiful country with so much to offer. But before you pack your bags and hop on a plane, you'll want to make sure you know the ins and outs of what to do and what not to do. In this video, we will go over the essential do's and don'ts when visiting Australia. From cultural customs to outdoor activities, we'll make sure you're prepared for an unforgettable trip. So grab a cup of Aussie tea and let's get started. The Do's Number 1. Great Barrier Reef Ready to embark on an aquatic adventure that'll blow your mind? Then pack your snorkel gear and head down under to Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is calling your name, and you won't want to miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to dive into its vibrant underwater world. With over 2,900 individual reefs and 1,500 species of fish, this World Heritage Site is the most extensive coral reef system on the planet. Get up close and personal with colorful corals and exotic sea creatures. Whether you're a seasoned diver or a nervous Nelly, trying snorkeling for the first time. Trust us, you won't regret visiting this stunning natural wonder and discovering its riches for yourself. Don't miss out on the chance to add the Great Barrier Reef to your bucket list and have a blast exploring this underwater world of Australia. Number 2. Visit Sydney Opera House Get ready to say good day, mate, as you step into the land down under's biggest city, Sydney. If you're looking for a cultural feast, you've come to the right place. Start your Sydney adventure by visiting the iconic Sydney Opera House. This architectural masterpiece will have you tapping your toes to the beat of an opera or musical in no time. It's the perfect place to snap a picture and show it to your friends back home. Make your way to the Harbour Bridge, a steel giant that will leave you in awe. Take a stroll across this engineering marvel or climb to the top for a bird's eye view of Sydney. Trust us, it's a view you won't forget in a hurry. With these two iconic landmarks, your Sydney trip will be a memorable performance. Number 3. The Blue Mountains Oh, the Blue Mountains, where the scenery is so beautiful you forget that you're actually hiking and not just taking a stroll in an enchanted forest. Picture yourself walking along scenic trails surrounded by lush greenery and towering eucalyptus trees with a backdrop of striking blue mountains that seem to go on forever. And let's not forget about the wildlife. You may encounter some kangaroos or wallabies who are just as eager for a scenic hike as you are. Don't forget to pack your camera because you'll want to capture every breath taking moment of this natural wonder. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even try abseiling down a cliff or taking a scenic helicopter ride for a bird's eye view of the Blue Mountains. Get ready for an unforgettable adventure where nature and excitement meet. Number 4. The Gold Coast the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia is a sun-kissed beach haven that'll make you want to ditch your shoes and live life in your swim trunks. This stretch of coastline boasts over 70 kilometers of pristine sands, perfect for all kinds of beachgoers. Whether you're a seasoned surfer catching waves, a first-timer learning how to swim, or just someone who loves soaking up the sun, you'll find something to suit your style. But let's say you need a break from the sand and surf. Have no fear. The Gold Coast is also home to some wild and crazy theme parks that'll make your heart race. And if that's still not enough excitement, hit up the shopping centers and nightlife scene to keep the fun going all day and all night. And let's not forget the food. The Gold Coast is a melting pot of cultures and cuisines. So, whether you're in the mood for a fancy dinner, a night out on the town, or just a quick bite, you won't leave hungry. Number 5. The Australian Outback the Australian Outback, also known as the Red Center, is a wild and rugged landscape unlike any other. This vast, remote region is the perfect destination for adventure seekers and nature lovers who want to experience the raw beauty of the Australian wilderness. Take a road trip through the Outback and witness the striking red earth and towering rock formations of the Allura Kata. Shatta National Park. Marvel at the breathtaking beauty of the Kata Shatta's towering domes, or take a guided hike to the top of Allura, the famous red sandstone monolith. But the outback isn't all rugged terrain and scorching deserts. Take a break from the heat and relax in the refreshing waters of one of the many watering holes scattered throughout the region. And don't forget to keep an eye out for the local wildlife. Kangaroos, wallabies, and other creatures call the outback home. So, pack your sense of adventure in your sunscreen and get ready to experience the wild, untamed beauty of the Australian Outback.
just remember to pack plenty of snacks because you never know when you'll stumble upon the next gas station or when the next gas station will stumble upon you. Number six, visit the city of Melbourne. Get ready for a hipster overload and brace yourself for the artistic explosion in Melbourne, folks. This city is not just about good coffee, although let's be honest, their coffee game is seriously on point. But it's also about the vibrant street art that'll make your Instagram feed pop and the shopping scene that'll make your wallet scream. Wander the streets and discover hidden murals, colorful alleyways, and stunning graffiti that'll make you feel like you just stepped into a modern art museum. And if you're a coffee addict like us, you'll love sipping on a flat white while people watching at one of the many trendy cafes. But wait, there's more. Melbourne shopping scene will make your heart skip a beat with its blend of high-end boutiques, vintage stores, and local markets. It's a shopping paradise, y'all. So bring your comfy shoes, stretchy pants, and an empty wallet because you'll need all the room for your new purchases. Trust us, Melbourne will make you fall in love with Australia all over again. The don'ts of visiting Australia. Number one, don't litter. Oh, come on, folks. Don't be a party pooper in Australia by littering and messing with the natural environment. This beautiful land down under is full of stunning landscapes and wildlife, and it's our duty to keep it that way for future generations to enjoy. So don't be that person who ruins everyone's fun by leaving their garbage behind. Instead, be a responsible traveler and make sure to dispose of your waste correctly. And remember, the government doesn't mess around when it comes to littering. They've got a strict don't be a tosser policy and anyone caught tossing their trash will be fined a pretty penny. So let's keep Australia looking as stunning as it is and ensure we're not the cause of any mess. Number two, don't harass the wildlife. Australia is home to some of the most unique and fascinating wildlife on the planet. Australia's wildlife is a sight to behold, from kangaroos to koalas, from wallabies to wombats. However, it's important to remember that these creatures are not toys or props. They are living, breathing beings with their own lives, habitats, and behaviors. When visiting Australia, it's crucial to respect the wildlife and not disturb or harm them. This means not trying to touch them, feed them, or chase them. Trust us, they don't want to be your bestie. Not only is it harmful to the animals, but it can also be dangerous for you. Many of Australia's wildlife, especially snakes and spiders, can be venomous and dangerous to humans. So if you see a creature that you're unfamiliar with, it's best to keep your distance and observe from a safe distance. So let's all agree to treat Australia's wildlife with the respect and care they deserve. After all, it's one of the main reasons why so many people flock to Australia in the first place. Number three, drive under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol is not just illegal in Australia, it's also incredibly dumb. Puts yourself, your passengers, and everyone else on the road at risk. Plus, it's a one-way ticket to the slammer if you get caught. Picture this, you're cruising down the road feeling pretty good about life, and then you see flashing lights in your rearview mirror. That's the police, and they're about to ruin your day. And why? All because you thought it would be a good idea to drive while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. The story's moral is that if you want to stay out of trouble and keep yourself and others safe, don't drink or take drugs and then get behind the wheel. That applies worldwide. It's not worth it. Just call a taxi, take a bus, or ask a designated driver to help you get home safely. It's better to be safe than sorry. Number four, don't break traffic laws. Driving in Australia as a tourist can be a bit of a wild ride. With unique road rules, road signs, and the ever-present wildlife, it's essential to brush up on the local laws before hitting the road. First things first, make sure you have an international driver's license. Trust us, you don't want to explain to a police officer why you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, and watch out for those kangaroos. They have a tendency to jump in front of your car at the most unexpected times. Don't worry, if you hit one, it's not a crime. It's just a part of life in the outback. And when it comes to speed limits, let's just say that if you're used to driving on the Autobahn, you may want to take it easy on the roads in Australia. The police are strict, and you don't want to end up with a fine as big as a kangaroo. So buckle up, put on your sunglasses, and enjoy the scenic drive as you explore the beautiful country of Australia. Just remember, it's all about following the rules and being a responsible driver. Happy motoring. Number five. Don't go for a swim anywhere you see water. In Australia, there are some places where it's not always a good idea to take a dip, but don't worry, it's not all bad news. You just need to know where to avoid it. So if you're considering diving in, here are a few things to remember. 
First up, avoid swimming in any river that has crocodiles in it. Sure, crocs are cool and all, but you don't want to get up close and personal with one of these guys. Secondly, stay away from blue-ringed octopuses. They may look cute, but they're actually one of the most venomous creatures in the sea. Next, steer clear of box jellyfish. They look like harmless blobs, but their tentacles pack a nasty sting that could land you in the hospital. Lastly, be cautious about Portuguese man of war. These floating sea creatures might look like a fun toy to play with, but they pack a painful punch. So there you have it, just a few things to keep in mind when you're thinking of taking a swim in Oz. And remember, when in doubt, ask a lifeguard. That does it for today's video. What else in Australia do you recommend as a must-see hotspot? What other countries would you like us to travel to next? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to let us know by tapping the like button. And if you'd like to see more travel content like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications enabled. You'll always be the first to know when a new video drops. Until next time, safe travels.